Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem prime dates. So this is one of a debugging uh, coding problem. So sometimes if we uh, do some logical error means uh, our result won't come. So at that time this kind of uh, debugging problems will be helpful and even in the interview questions or some online uh, coding this debugging uh, problem you may face. So it will be very helpful if you just uh, solve few of them. So let's dive into the problem. In this challenge uh, the task is to uh, debug the existing code to successfully execute all provided test cases. Given two dates each in the format date, month and year, you have to find the number of lucky dates between them that is inclusive. To see if a date is uh, lucky, firstly sequentially concatenate the date, month and year into an integer x erasing the leading zeros. Now if x is divisible by either 4 or 7, then we call the date a lucky date. So for example, let's take the date 2, 8 and uh, 2024. After concatenating the day, month and year, we get x equals 28 and 2024. So here these leading zeros have been uh, removed uh, from the day. So as x is divisible by 4, so the date is uh, 0 to 08-2024 is a lucky date. So debug the given function find uh, prime dates and other lines of code to find the correct lucky dates from the given input. So here uh, they have a note you can modify at most five lines in the given code and you cannot add or remove lines to the code. So this is the main point you can just uh, modify uh, only the five lines uh, that has been uh, mistakenly uh, written. So you have to do that and you can just uh, erase all the code and uh, create your own code uh, to get the answer even if you do that uh, you are getting a correct results means still it will show you wrong answer because of that uh, modification. So you have to modify exactly uh, five lines. To restore the original code you can click on this icon so it will reset the whole code. Here they have mentioned uh, some constraints. So here we don't have to see about the constraints because this is a debugging problem. We are not dealing with any kind of uh, time complexity. We just need to identify a few bugs in the coding question. So here we have a sample input and uh, we do have the result uh, like in the uh, date range we'll be having five lucky dates in between these date ranges. So that's it. Now let's run the code once to see whether it is actually working or not. So currently the output is zero so it's not even showing the correct answer. So we have to explore the function one by one in order to find whether there is a issue in the code. So first function we have here is update leap year. So we'll be passing an year and if the year is a leap year means we have to set the condition that is number of dates in the particular month. So for the February only uh, we are uh, considering the leap year and uh, taking care of the dates. Like in February, if you have a leap year means uh, your days will be uh, 29 or else uh, it will be 28. So that's how we have to do. And uh, here, as you can able to see, this condition satisfies the uh, leap year. E year is uh, modulus by 400 and we are uh, getting a balance of zero means this is a leap year. So this should be 29. And also if the year is uh, divisible by 4 means that is also a leap year so that is 29 and apart from that uh, everything else is like uh, 28 so that is the remaining uh, years and here also you can see year is uh, divisible by 100 means uh, they are considering leap year so this condition is not satisfied so we have to change it as uh, 28 because uh, if this is divisible by 100 means uh, that is definitely not a leap year you can check the conditions of the leap year in the Google itself if you want to uh, double check. So we have done our uh, two modifications here and we have to find remaining three. Now let's see the store month. So in the store month uh, we are just uh, storing the number of days for the particular month. So we have like 12 months here. So from January uh, we are uh, adding the dates. So 31, 28 this is February. 
31 31 and this is july and august and uh, like this uh, alternating months having uh, 30 and 31 so this function does not have any uh, errors so let's go for the main function so this is the main function uh, we'll be calling so we are receiving date month year and uh, date two month two and year two so this is separate date and this is separate date and we have to find the lucky dates in between so this is the initialization uh, the store months will store the days for the corresponding month and if it's true we are uh, converting that date into an uh, integer so here date is multiplied by 100 and we are adding month and uh, here uh, again after adding the month we have to add a uh, year so in this case you can uh, see so for example if we consider this date so for adding the day we have to multiply it by 100 and after that uh, we can add the month so it will be retained like 208 will be uh, retained and apart from that we have to add four zeros after this so here we so here they are uh, just adding three zeros so we have to add one more in order to accommodate uh, the year so this is the third mistake and uh, the fourth one is this condition so here they have mentioned now if uh, x is divisible by either four or seven but they have specified at and so we have to change it as or so it so it satisfies this condition so if it's either divisible by 4 or if it's divisible by 7 means we'll be incrementing the result and after that uh, this condition is for um, reaching the same dates like if the starting range is equal to the ending range means we will break the loop and return the result and this is for updating the leap year if the leap year is uh, if the year is leap year means uh, for february month the days will be updated and uh, here we are incrementing the day and if the day is uh, greater than the total month day we will be incrementing the month by one and uh, we are resetting the day to one and after that if the month is exceeding 12 that is like if it's gone to 13 means we have to reset it so year will be incremented and again we have to reset the month but um, we just incrementing here so we will just remove this so after doing this we have done our five modification so i'll just mark that out so this is the first one and this is second and uh, this is third this is fourth and this is fifth so these are the five modification we have done in order to debug this code and uh, that's it like we didn't do any kind of modification we didn't remove any code and uh, type it on that it should work now let's run this to test it now it's passing the sample test case before that let's also like check it whether uh, i'm just uh, adding just uh, new lines this is also kind of a modification let's run it once actually we are getting the result now see it's showing a wrong answer because uh, we have modified the existing code we have just added a few empty spaces still it's showing an error that's why we don't have to do any modification if you do you will face an error let's run the code again okay i think because of the addition of uh, new lines it just uh, showing the error okay now after removing all the spaces it is uh, working now let's submit the code so it's actually running for all the test cases okay we have solved the problem as you can able to see we have uh, solved all the test cases i think it's like more than uh, 50 so we have done our five modification like this you have to uh, do it correspondingly so these kind of minor uh, mistakes you may also do uh, in between your uh, problem like the normal problem so to avoid that if you want to test the results means just print out intermediate results 
to check whether it is working or not or you can also use some custom input to check whether the your code is actually working or not without any uh, logical error so in that way you can easily uh, debug the whole program and that's it guys this is uh, one of the example for uh, debugging stay tuned for the next video